All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Oh, this is crazy, right? Right? I need to prove to him I can handle this. Maybe playing the safe's the best option. You don't have to prove anything, especially to him. Dude had you on the bench for four years, remember that? You need to wake up. There's a lot at stake right now for all of us. Even more so for Isaiah, so you don't take what he says personally. You're doing the right thing. Okay. All right. Have a good game. Well, outside, it's a rare Texas snowstorm, but we are indoors here at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And tonight, it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups, as we'll see the Oklahoma here Sooners taking the on the LSU, LSU Tigers. Tigers. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. He's a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. For the right to play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara, we are underway from Arlington in the national playoff semifinal. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's first and ten for the Sooners. Running it with gold. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Oklahoma, such a proud football tradition, seeking their eighth national title. They were winners three times way back in the 50s, back-to-back -back champs in the 70s, and then added titles in 85 and in the year 2000, but they haven't won it since. Off the play fake, Fulton. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It'll be a pickup of just two, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Here's Fulton to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They pick up the first down there with a gain of 11. First down, gold. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They give the nod to gold here. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. 
And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Off play action. Fulton. That's into the hands of Edwards. 20! And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That's a first down and then some. A 32-yard pickup. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. Fulton sets to pass it. He's got Mason complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's... And that is caught. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Titus Griffin there to make the grab. And the Sooners have taken the early lead. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Field it about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Already down 7-0. Here comes his first collegiate snap on first and 10. They'll run on first down. Livingston still churning. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I think that's an example of how the game speed is different than in practice, because in practice, you might not be going full speed. A lot of guys in shorts coming your way. So it's going to be a big key to see how he adjusts to how the speed really picks up in this game and if he's able to get rid of the football. And think about it, Charles. That's the first time he's hit the ground with a sack since his high school days. He played in a couple spring games, but those were non-contact for the quarterback. Yeah, they're wearing a different color jersey. No one hits the QB, even in the spring game. The Tigers of LSU looking for their fourth title in school history. They were champs way back in 1958 and twice in this century so far, 2003 and 2007. Being chased out left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so oh. I could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And that will force a turnover on downs. Oklahoma now with a first and 10. Here we go, D. Here I come again. Here I come again. Fight. Operating from the gun. Fulton. He's going to take a shot. And that is caught. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Hakeem Kane there to make the grab. And the Sooners add on to their lead. We talked about how important it was going to be for this quarterback to get off to a hot start. Well, he has done that. Two first quarter touchdown passes. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now following the touchdown, the Sooners get ready to kick this off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. 
The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Second and nine now. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very solid gain of 27. They'll run here with Deku. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Second and three. And it's incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Oh, and they had him stopped short of the first, but a penalty marker down. And that looked like a clear face mask to me. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, he creates a penalty. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. 61, match box white. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. His throw caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They'll still have a third and goal now despite picking up. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Third and goal they decided to throw for it. But how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. And his kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. They had it first and goal, three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right, it sounds a little counterintuitive, but you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, it's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. The Sooner offense back out, ready for their next possession. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A big play there on the catch and run. 48 yards. Here's first and 10 for the Sooners. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. On second down. Goal. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. On third down, Fulton. 
And a quick throw here that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Go, go. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Yeah. And no From the red zone now, they'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The well, touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, Fulton into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. First week of the preseason, probably not the pass, the impression that the rookie wants to leave right there. Yeah, no probably about it, because that's not what you want to do to try and pressure new coaching staff, try to impress your locker room, and most importantly, yourself. Don't throw an interception early. Make sure you take care of the football. But now he's got it out of the way. Hopefully he can just settle in. We're looking for his team. A given yard set time as that'll move the chains. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to throw. Forced out to his left. He'll run it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. This young quarterback does have a support system of former players and teammates. In fact, he heard from former Tigers like OBJ, Jarvis Landry, Leonard Fournette, Jamal Adams. All have reached out to him on social media in the days leading up. And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Isaiah Streets as the first half is winding down as his guys are back within a single score. Well, when we were setting up and going over our run-throughs early this afternoon, and I'm talking six hours before kickoff, we saw Isaiah Streets out there alone with just his young quarterback and center going through all sorts of different routes, making sure that they had everything ironed out, and it pays off there on the touchdown throw. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Out is the Oklahoma offense ready for their next drive. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, ready, ready. you're only gonna fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not gonna be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Kid, I just want to check in with you. How'd you feel about the first half? Hey, right. let's do it in the second half, baby. Come on. I definitely could have played better. Got another half to go. Just got to get back there and get on the same page as these guys. Get back out and get after. That's right. That's all you can do. Just make sure you relax. Second half is going to be fine. The winner goes on, the loser goes home as we start the second half in this semifinal matchup from Arlington. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. On the red zone. 
The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And Charles, so much of this offense the last few years centering around the combination of Marcus Washington and Isaiah Streets. Streets saying Washington's like a second brother to him. And of course, many know the story. Isaiah's older brother, Ezekiel, tremendous athlete in his own right, but lost too soon to leukemia a year ago next week at the age of 20. And that is really a gut-wrenching story, as you know. And you look back at their high school days, right here in Texas, just outside of Houston. Zeke was the star quarterback, a four-year starter, 8,000 passing yards. Isaiah, a year younger, he was the receiver. The two of them told recruiters, you know we're a package deal, so if you're coming to get us, you're getting both of us. And Zeke actually recruited by both of these teams playing here tonight. And the two had dreams of playing for a national championship together, and now Isaiah with a chance to fulfill at least part of that dream. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brooks. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Now Deku. Fights free yet again. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Here's a first and goal, LSU. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he will have a touchdown. It's their quarterback. His second touchdown of the night. And LSU has jumped out in front. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it, let's go. And boy, did that work out well. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Sooner offense back out, ready for their next possession. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here and have to. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Now this throw caught left side. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Oklahoma now with a first and 10. On the ground, this is Griffin. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. On second down now. Gold. Well, they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Throwing off first down. Fulton, that one into the hands of Kane. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They look to reverse that trend on second and goal. On the ground, it's gold. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off.
Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone, I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious, so you have to learn from those and in a hurry. And now running right through him. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On the ground, it's Livingston. Oh, refusing to go down. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Now, this is where field awareness comes into play. He's getting perilously close to his own goal line, and after that sack, backed up to his own two. Now LSU's punter getting set on, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. Fielded at the 43. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake. Fulton, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is caught. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Jamon Mason, 35 yards. And the Sooners have jumped out in front. The fly route works for the TD ground. And you know what the receivers love to say? If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the strike. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. This will be a run with Livingston. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Second and two. Steps away to his left. He'll try and run it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. But to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. 11 yards on the pickup there. So much made about the fact that we've got a quarterback who's never seen the field in a college football game, but you go back to his high school days, he's played in front of crowds. Maybe not quite this size, but it wasn't abnormal for them to have fit. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Second and long. That is caught. Hits streets. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. He got 29 yards that time. Here's a first and goal LSU on the ground. Deku. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. The defensive line. And it's a touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And LSU has jumped out in front. 
Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. Out is the Oklahoma offense ready for their next drive. Well, things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Fulton. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. There's first and ten for the Sooners. From the gun, Fulton. He's got Gore. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Mason. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37th. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Sooner touchdown. Mac Edwards, 37 yards. And the Sooners have jumped out in front. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. And all the defense has it. And he dives into the end zone and gets the two points. All I know, partner, is that with every play call that came in, there was a little discussion about, hey, we can seal this bad boy. We can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control, and yet they find a way to cough it up. Yeah, the two-score game opportunity eludes them, and now a chance for the other side to come back here. Yeah, that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves. So we call sudden change. Let's see if the defense is mentally ready to take care of it. Back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Back to throw. Rolling to his right. Now he'll pull it down. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. He's back to throw. Dancing to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Powering his way forward. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And we will get a timeout 
with two ticks left. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And his kick is right there. It's good. And this home crowd is in a frenzy as their guys have pulled it out of the end. So behind a victory in the first college start for their unheralded senior quarterback, the LSU Tigers are moving on to play for a national championship on Monday, January 7th. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, sir. That was a gutsy performance out there tonight. You took us to a national championship when nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, coach. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Woo. One more game, baby. We got this, man. <laughs> 